All right, night, well, day number two is in the history books, and I'm excited. Got a chance to ride around Houston with Tyrone Scott. Went to some of the various churches that he has played with, played for here, as well as talked about the Prayer War Singers and so much more. He even played the piano at his home, the keyboard rather. Exciting stuff, right? All right, well, we're going to see what tomorrow's going to unfold. But I'd like to leave this message, though. You know, love on someone and change a life. You never know that kind word that you render to your neighbor or your brother or your sister may be just what they need to get them through, all right? So be kind, be courteous, all right? Bye. So you, you got us, right? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> hello, everyone. No, I'm just glad. But anyway, hello, everyone. I am back, and today is the day that we uh, dig into this young man's brain about his uh, his work with the Claire Ward Singers, and we're excited about that. How you doing, Mr. Tyrell? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I've had a wonderful time yeah. here with you. Good. It's been nice having you here. You got yeah. to come back again. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so everybody wants to know, and I know you've told me this, but I haven't recorded this. Let's start here. How did you get involved with Miss Clara Ward? Okay, I, I was living in San Francisco then, and I was going to school off and on, and they came to town and um, San Francisco to do a, a revival, that they call it, with... Um, at a Baptist church there, and I went to that church because I heard my father, who knew Kyle, had told me that they were going to be there to go see him, so I went anyway, and I got in there, and uh, one of the musicians, I don't think that they were expecting, didn't show up anyway. Someone said Sandra Mitchell, which they, I knew her. She was in the group then, and she told uh, Miss Ward that I could play. So Miss Ward's told me to go to the organ or the piano, I can't remember which one. And I played as best I could, but the songs, you know, I followed along as best I could, but there was another musician, but they, it wasn't full like they were used to it. We didn't have drums in right there at that place. And uh, afterwards, she t I think Alice had told me, Miss Ward wants you. I said, okay. Miss mm -hmm. Ward said, um, she wanted to, she wanted to hear you play, wants you to audition. I said, audition? So, yeah. And Miss Ward came up and she said, Tomorrow, 1 o'clock, be right here and don't be late because war singers don't do things late. <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am. Wow. So I went over to that same church the next day at 1 o'clock. Probably got there at 1230, you know what I mean? They said, don't be late. And uh, I, uh, I went in there and there was another guy there. I can't call his name right now. And anyway, he was there. He played. I played. He was a good musician. He was good, so I didn't pay any attention. But anyway... It was, when it was over, we went on home, and I got a phone call, and she said, pack your bags, we're going to Las Vegas. <laughs> I said, Las Vegas? And she said, I, I'm, a, I'm going ahead of you. She said, but I'm going to send you a ticket. Mm. I was going to fly there. You know, she sent me a bus ticket. So I mm. said, well, that'll work. I was just glad to go. <laughs> I said, I can ride the bus. So I, I went and uh, met up in Los Angeles. That's when I met the other ward singers, uh, Mavelin Statham, Vermita Royster. Wow. Um, Geraldine Jones, um, oh, I can't call her name, Mildred Means, yeah. Oh, wow. All of those people were already there. Me and Alice and Adele, uh, we came, they came later. We all came at different times, but uh, we ended up being there. Come to find out, they were having, they were having uh, a, a concert with, Ward, with Clara Ward and uh, Clara Ward and Gertrude Ward. So they had to go in. It was a battle between the two ward singers because oh, wow. they had two two groups going at the same time. I didn't really realize that. But anyway, we went and, we went and done the uh, done the concert, the two of us and all that. Then from there, 
she said, uh, you know, we going straight to Disneyland. I said, Disneyland? I said, oh, okay, that's good. And that's what we did. We went to Disneyland, and we opened up at Disneyland. Will you quit waving at me? Would you please quit waving? He's doing wonderful. Quit waving let him, at me. Let him. Let him. Go ahead. Stop that, Michael. The world going to hear me say something that ain't ward singer style in a minute. Go ahead. <laughs> Where was that? Oh, yes. Yeah, so we, we went on Las Vegas, and we had to do, we did uh, seven, seven, six days a week. We did three shows a night, every day. And we lived about 35 miles away, which was in downtown Los Angeles, and the Disneyland's in Anaheim. So we had to drive there. We had a long, uh, let's see, this, uh, what kind of, uh, uh, long car. I don't want to say, you know, what kind of car it was, but I, it was a Chrysler. Mm. It's just uh, talking about the car that you wanted. Yeah, driving. we had a nine-passenger limousine. That's what I was trying to think of. And uh, we drove from Los Angeles to Disneyland every day. But fortunately, I didn't have to drive, which I'm glad of, because Miss Ward is the only backseat driver. <laughs> Sometimes we couldn't drive at 40 miles an hour. <laughs> She's worried about <laughs> tearing up the tires and things. But anyway, I didn't have to drive because she did, you know, that, cause that was new. It was Sandra Mitchell mm -hmm. and Alice Houston who did the driving. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they did the they good drivers. They did it all the time. So I didn't say anything because I didn't want to drive that limousine <laughs> anyway. And I had to do enough male duty, carry, help them carry stuff to the car and all that. That was enough for me. Wow. And all that fussing. I'd probably been kicked out of the group. Somebody <laughs> sitting right next to me fussing. And uh, so that's it. We went, uh, we did Disneyland for three months. We first, oh, yeah, the first two days we did, it was called grad night, where the students that were graduating came to Disneyland and we did, <coughs> did shows for them. That was usually on Friday and Saturday, some of them shows, but we might have done four or five shows and started earlier. Oh wow. And after Disneyland, we all went home to our various places, but I didn't go back to Monterey, where they got, uh, to San Francisco, rather. I um, stayed in Los Angeles. And uh, until it was time to go somewhere, I think the next place we went would have been Hawaii mm. from there. And I was very excited about going to the place because I had never been anywhere, where, you know, overseas that much. A little country boy like me, that was a big deal. Wow. So uh, I was ready. We went. And uh, I think it was, um, it was me, Madeline. Oh, wait a minute. Did Madeline go over there? <laughs> no. Madeline, Madeline didn't go to Hawaii with us. That's another, that's another story. Wow. It was me, Alice, uh, Geraldine Jones, Is that this picture Sandra this Mitchell. Hmm? That's this picture in the book, right? I don't The know. one with, with Alice Braffer, right? Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah, that's Let's one see. of them, yeah. Okay. That's Billy Dorsey. So you got you, uh, the one that's next to you, that's... that's Mm -hmm. uh, the one that you said that's uh, Gloria Berry. Gloria Jean Berry, yeah. George, yeah, okay. And then that's Matt. That is that's Madeline. No, that's Alice. Okay. And then that's uh, Clara. And then um, Gertrude. So that's that was the group. So it was only one, two. So it was only two no, girls that went. You don't have Sandra Mitchell. Must be is on there. Oh, the with, one with the with the, the with the uh, she on got her, her own shoulder. natural hair, way up. Let me, let me show her this. Let's see. That's Sandra right there. Oh, okay. That's Alex. Princess, uh, yeah. what's her name? Princess Stewart. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Okay, so you, you're you from San Francisco, San well, Diego? San Francisco is where I went to school. Okay. Uh, sorry, college. Monterey High School, Monterey, California, which is also considered Northern California. It's where I graduated from high school. Mm. And uh, that was it. So we went, went to Hawaii. We stayed over there, I think, about four or five months. And while we were over there on Feb in February, or was it January? February, Madeline was in uh, Madeline was in Philadelphia, and she gave birth to Cecil mm. while we were in Hawaii. Mm. And as soon as we got back from Hawaii, we were off like a month or two. And I was I went up to see to be with Madeline, and uh, we, we stayed. I stayed in Philadelphia maybe a month, and we had a couple shows lined up there. And that was it. And then we have one other show. In California, I think, and then the next thing I knew, it was telling me pack my bags again. We're going to Australia. Wow. They made sure that we had passports and stuff. And it's at about seven o'clock from Los Angeles. Sunday at six o'clock in the afternoon, we arrived in uh, 
Sydney, Australia. So I don't know what happened to Saturday. <laughs> but I found out later that it was uh, it crossed the international dateline. And, you know, that's when it, everything changes. Uh -huh. So it's just like when we came back from Australia, we left on a Sunday evening. And we got back to L.A. on a Sunday evening. I went straight to church and started dancing all over Grace Memorial, <laughs> Church of God in Christ in Los Angeles. Wow. And uh, that, was, that was a nice trip. And uh, Geraldine Jones, this, this trip, she stayed in the Hawaii. That's what mm -hmm. I meant to say. She stayed when we were in Hawaii. She didn't come back with us. She stayed over there and done, a, done her own thing. Okay. And uh, let me see. So we're talking roughly early 60s, right? Yeah, it is early 60s, like yeah. around 64, 65. 63 is when I, the first time I did something with them. Okay. 64 to 65, we did Disneyland. And 64 is when we went to Hawaii. Mm. And then I think it might have been in 60. Well, it might have sure been 67 to 60, huh? Sure 63. 62, because I, no. cause remember, Braff, if Braffle was on this photo, because they were over there doing Black Nativity. Right. And that was in 62. Okay. The end of '62, going into '63. Well, see, we were, we 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 were in Hawaii in '64. Okay. Into '65, because Cecil was born in '65. Okay. Yeah, so we were there. I don't know. We we did a lot of uh, churches and things hmm. in between. We always had some churches to go to yeah. in between, and that's that's basically. So let me ask you this. So when you actually met Claire, did you did you know her status? Like, did you know who she was? Did oh you know, yeah. So was she? You like, know, back then they played her on the records. You know, and people were singing it in the churches, like especially that "Surely God Is Able." So how did you feel knowing that you had auditioned for this woman and she actually chose you? Like, out of all the musicians in the United States or the world, at that. Well, you know, it's called being in the right place Come at the on, right somebody. time because. <laughs> Wasn't that many musicians when I auditioned. And I really didn't really call it auditions. They just told me to play. <laughs> and do you remember what you, was there a song that you played for your audition? It was probably oh, Shirley because she wanted, she, she wanted me to play something that they did and something she felt like I would know. So I think it was Shirley, Shirley God is Able. And it may have been Never Grow Old because that's what Sandra sang. And she was there. For me, they used to sing it. Sandra was there with it. She sang that. And, uh, Come on in the room, probably. Oh, I'm not sure what Alice said. Madeline wasn't there yet. She was still in Philadelphia when mm -hmm. I did the audition and thing. Wow. And uh, that's, that was... Top of your head, what would be one of your most memorable moments with one of your co-workers? And which one was it? <laughs> well, I have to say, one across my mind now is Vermita. Okay. Because when we were in Australia, we, we came in Sydney, and then we went, we did a couple of weeks in Brisbane, which is north, north Australia. And we sang, it wasn't quite as hard. We, we sang in a hotel and we lived in a hotel, mm. same hotel. And uh, we used to, say, I think we, we, it was an early show. And we were finished like at 9 or 9.30. And then this one guy came by who was one of the people who had been seeing us and asked me and Vermita did we want to go. First, I guess he asked Vermita first to go to a place called Surface Paradise. That was about maybe 40, 40 50 miles from Brisbane. And so Vermita said, well, yeah, but I have to take Tyrone because he's, he plays the music. So we went down there and did a show, which did nobody supposed to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Made a little extra money. <laughs> and we were, hit, we were hit back then, it was me and Vermita. We were hit, and the rest of the people stayed in the, stayed in the hotel. But we, we, we did that so we could buy a few things. Did you ever they tell Clara? <laughs> she found out, I don't know, I didn't say anything to her about it, but so she found out. We couldn't keep anything a secret from Clara. I don't know if she had she spies had eyes out or whatever. In the yeah. <laughs> but she was kind of sick then anyway. Uh, she had just gotten over a serious stroke. Uh, so she didn't do a lot of working and doing a lot of stuff. Even when we were in Sydney, she didn't uh, perform every night. Gets and stuff. When we were at the airports, I would hold the girls' tickets. And oh, yeah, when we leave, <laughs> one time we were leaving uh, <laughs> Los Angeles, headed for Denver. And we were holding the tickets. I had the tickets, and I gave the girls there to get on the plane. Fooled around. I missed the plane because I was around, <laughs> as Miss Ward said, I was messing. I think I was either getting some food or drink or something oh, of that nature. Wow. I fooled around. I missed the plane. <laughs> so I had to come figure out a way to get to Denver that next day because we were performing that night somewhere. To, so I made it there, and Clara. Did you catch a bus? Clara was, no, I didn't catch no bus. 
I got on a plane. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it in time on the bus. So I got there. Wow. And everything was set. Madeline had the room and stuff. She knew Madeline said, I knew he gonna get I knew he gonna get there. She said, I wasn't worried. Wow. She said, he's clever. He, no tricks that we don't know. But anyway, we got to Denver. We did that show. And then we came to Houston. Hmm. We did a show here. It wasn't that big then, but we still came. Wow. So all my relatives got a chance to see me uh, see me in the ward singers. So they were happy. Wow. And uh a couple wow. times we were on TV. Oh yeah, who was that guy you called his name yesterday? Uh, was it Ed? You talking about Ed? Not Ed Sullivan. Uh, uh, Bobby Jones. No, we, we did Ed Bobby Wilson. Jones too, huh? Flip Wilson. Who? No. Flip Wilson. I don't know who that is. Flip Wilson show. No, that's not the uh, one I'm thinking of. Who was I called yesterday? Mm. We, you remember I said he he's the one who had a wheel of fortune and he's the, he was a. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to say that. But anyway, we did two uh, two shows out of Philadelphia, the TV shows that showed on national t TV, you know, stations. You talking about so, the one that was over hair? That guy? No, not okay. over hair. Right. I didn't come to. We just said it yesterday. Uh, uh, but anyway, yeah. we did that. Did some shows for him, and uh, that's about it. Yeah. The rest of the thing, we just off and on at churches and things like that. Wow. We're going to keep talking, keep talking. It's just so much I want to ask you, but since we're still talking about the co-workers. Go ahead. So a little bit about, tell us a little bit about the living legend herself, Miss Alice Houston. <laughs> well, Alice was in, um, Alice was in uh, Oakland, California, before she came to the ward singers. I think that's where they got, they did. That's where they got Alice at, but during that same uh, place where they, uh, where they got me oh, in wow. San Francisco. And Alice was living there. I think Alice had her own group then. Yeah. I think the Houston Singers or something. What was it, the guy's, the, the driver's name? Because she said that that's the one that told her, uh, that drove, he drove her to, to Miss Ward's house. You talking about Adele? Was it? The no, guy no. that drove Adele? No, it was Alice. Um, I don't know what was the music? He was a musician and a driver. Other than me? But was it Bernard? No, Bernard didn't drive. Bernard. Maybe it was... Uh, it's a chauffeur. He went to Narciss Church. I don't know who right, that was. Right. I really don't know who that was. He okay. went to Narciss Church. Okay. We so. were all up there together. And they had a, they had, she had some great singers in that group. What, the Houston singers? Know, uh, no, yeah. But Miss Ward, when she got them, she got Alice, she took Odessa Perkins. Oh, man. She was a great singer. Yeah. Uh, but Odessa could, could, you know, Odessa would shout. And she would say it didn't matter if it was, if you, <laughs> she was more saying, stop that child, stop it, you know. And um, I can't call the others' names. Oh, wow. But I remember Odessa, because I had played for Odessa before I would got with the ward singers, being that she's right up there. She would call me a lot of times to uh, play for her. Wow. So, okay, so Alice Houston, so you working with her. Tell me about... How did you feel about playing for her, like her vocal? Because she can play herself, too. Yeah, I know. She played a lot of times. <laughs> she would play when Clara got up to sing. Mm. She would play, and Sandra Mitchell could play. Really? Yeah. So they would take turns playing. Uh, Hidden weapon. When, only but when Clara sang. <laughs> wow. So and, uh, what would it be like hearing Alice Houston on that piano with Clara? What would it be like? Yeah, what would it be like? It, well, she, you know, she, she was very... She was very uh, she didn't, she played, you know, how should I say, she played simple, simple, you know, okay, she, she okay. wasn't a fancy music. She just, simple played, she just played, the, yeah, she just played the chords right. and added the, the, the soprano, the lead melody on the occasion, but she wasn't a fancy musician wow. player, but she could sing, so that made it, kept her in, that, in things. Wow. Okay, so what about Miss Geraldine Don't, Jones? She's alive and well, I'd like to give her some kudos, so tell well, us Well, Geraldine little. Jones, like I said, she was... I met Geraldine when I first was with, 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 with when they first sent me to uh, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Geraldine was there in that in that group, and uh, she was fun. I mean, she, I enjoyed her. She sang "Deep Down in My Heart" mm. and a couple a uh, couple other songs. She was real good. And like I said, she went to uh, went to ha uh, Hawaii with us, and she ended up staying over there. But we all uh, kind of roomed together. Even in Hawaii, we had place where we had kitchen and all that but we had two of them so Geraldine was in one side and Alice and I think Alice and well no Gordon, Gordon Barry was in there with me and Bernard because wow. by that time Bernard had came and uh, 
Bernard only played the piano, though. He didn't, he didn't mess with the organ. Wow. And, uh, yeah, Geraldine, she was a good singer, the good, good, good on stage and everything. She was excellent. Wow. But she decided she wanted to, you know, do her own thing. So she stayed in Hawaii. And I haven't seen her much since then, maybe once or twice. I haven't seen her. She didn't come to, uh, she never came to too many of the programs. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so I want to know this. Since you were there, I can only see by watching these, you know, the footage that we have. But when Madeline would get up and do all this dance, oh my God! I, I just, I, what was the audience? What, how, what they were clapping and jumping up out of their seats. <laughs> they loved it. A heavy set woman doing dry bones, and like I said, she's making all the signs of the bone, oh the God. head bones connected to the <laughs> neck bone, and all that. So she was, she was a star in her own right. Wow. She was real good. Wow. And, uh, she, uh, was it in, was the energy like yes. lively? Oh yeah, the energy was Dance. there for sure. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The energy. In it, the, every show that I remember being with, outside of church and inside occasionally, but it was always a standing ovation for the ward singers. Oh, wow. Always. Wow. Especially when some of them were getting the little youngsters, the high mm -hmm. school and kids coming and all that. It was definitely it was out. You know. And a lot of people just get up and start dancing with us and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wow. I, no. That was with, that was hair. I was there for that. They, they were there for something else. But, uh, oh, Lord, I can't begin to name everybody. I have a good question. A lot of them. Because a lot of them had, were doing shows there uh -huh. at the other hotels. We were at Caesar's Palace. Now, um, so I don't know, but most of the people were there, that were there were stars in their own right, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So, um, back to, to to go back, I want to ask you about these wigs. Now, these wigs, what? like, how did oh. they get these things? That, like, how did Alice get those these big wow, I mean, these hairdos to stick up on their hair like that? Well, they use a lot of spray. Really? It's stiffen it up. And actually, we, they used to... They used to use... Uh, Towel rolling, like paper towels, they got mm -hmm. the round thing there. But well, they take the paper, paper towel rolls oh. and wrap the hair around it, around the, around that. You know, that would make the thing, you know, to stick up a uh, piece of hair. Oh. That's one way they would do it. But they did it. They just they did their own hair, some kind of way. And you had to have it high and stuff. Oh wow! All right. So this is segment three. So we're here talking with the one and only. Mr. Tyrone Scott, this is Thank such you. an honor. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So you know what? What's amazing is is that like we talked about this before that you didn't record with the group, but however, you have a plethora. There are so many different mm -hmm. occasions where it was recorded that you playing with the group on the organ and everything like that. So, yeah. is there any regrets there that you didn't record with the? The, any what? Any regrets there? Well, yeah, in a way, only for resume, for my resume, because I, I, you know, I worked with them so much. But the reason why I didn't play because you, most of the time when they recorded, for some reason or another, I wasn't around. Because oh. it would start out in Philadelphia, and I lived on the West Coast. And any time I wasn't working with them, I was on the West Coast. So that that's one thing, I wasn't around when they recorded, um, because I, I, I really don't know any other. Well, they plan to do some more. Because Clara was telling me about some things that she planned on doing and recording before, long before she, uh, well, actually before I went overseas. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wasn't there to do it with them. So technically, you started this roughly circa, let's say about 63, 64, uh -huh. and you stayed, when, when did you go overseas again with hair? What I went overseas with hair, let's see, about, around about 69 to so 70. 69 to 70. It might have been later than that. And you five, stayed because you were there when Clara died. Yeah. Passed away. So you stayed there yeah, for like six back. years, right? Yeah. Okay. So all your time with the Clara War singers would have been before here, right? Right. Wow. And then of course now after when I came back, they were still yeah. going because Madeline yeah. and they were still singing when yeah. Clara had passed. Yeah. But Miss Ward was still living. Yeah. And she had them singing. Yeah. And then one time she said, I'm getting rid of these girls. I'm going to get some boys, a boys group. Yeah, yeah. And she never did, but she talked about it because she had mentioned it to me. But I knew within my spirit it wasn't for me. <laughs> no. Wow. And, uh, I think that's a perfect segue to talk about Miss Gertrude. Miss Gertrude Ward, I mean, she is a figure. 
I mean, she's a legend. <laughs> she's a legend you. of her own. I mean, from her her voice to her administrative work, yeah, her yeah. style. I mean, well, she let's said. Let's talk uh, about her for a she, while. She uh, she said uh, she had a garter removed from her throat, and that's why she can't sing anymore. But she would always uh, get up. You know, people request her to sing. Uh, the storm is passing over. Hallelujah. And she sang that. And most people would laugh. You know, but they enjoyed her. Mm. But she was one. But she, she, everything she did, she she uh, she had a reason, and I have to say that it was a good reason. Wow. You know, because I learned a lot that has helped me up until this day mm. from Miss Ward and from Clara. Mm. And uh, she was just known, and everybody knew her from her hairstyle. She had that white streak going th in the middle of her head, which you know everybody, of course, called a skunk. That was original too. Wasn't skunk, it? yeah, skunk mm. hairdo. So that everybody knew anywhere we went. Because I know when we were in L.A., we stayed at the Clark Hotel on Hill Street during the summer when we played Disneyland. And Miss Ward, when she'd get up, sometimes she'd call me to walk to Googie's. That's the eating place down mm -hmm. in L.A. And she'd have me walk, and people would be staring at her. They didn't know who she was. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, because Ward singers wasn't that known downtown L.A. And they, but they'd be staring at Miss Ward and that hair thing. And I'd be walking with her just smiling, you know, so I'm with her. So. Wow. Um, and uh, Miss Ward was very shrewd. If you didn't, if you made her mad, or didn't do things the way she wanted, you were fired. Mm. Then probably the next morning you were hired back, oh, depending yeah. on where you were at. Because, <laughs> I, like I said, they fired me in Australia and told me to walk home. I told you, know, I said okay, <laughs> but I was hired back too. Because it'd be cheaper to keep me than to have somebody fly in from the States. You'd probably still be walking home if you actually walked home. I'd have stopped in Tahiti <laughs> or somewhere. Wow. New well, Zealand. Well, look, I want to have a straightforward moment. So, like, when you think about the past, okay, mm -hmm. and a lot of the, the things that you did, like if you played for a little bit of money or sometimes, it just wasn't the way that it is today that it's as, it, as relates to stability. And uh, a lot of the artists and musicians today, they really fail to realize, you know, all of the energy and the dedication that actually went into uh, uh, honing and creating and, 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 and just flourishing this, this genre of music to get them in a place where they can, you know, demand this $700, this $1,200. Right. So, like, I would like to take this moment to tell you from the bottom of my heart, you know, thank you for being one of the ones well, that actually, you. you know, that that weathered the storm, you know. Right. And I know it wasn't easy, but you had fun because you enjoyed what you did, right? I had fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, it was it was it was the beginning of my long career. Mm -hmm. And I still I, I tell people they don't really, a lot of the young people, of course, because of their age, they don't really know anything about, about you know, yeah. where this music came from. But anytime somebody want to get smart with me or what we, I said, let me tell you something. I paved the road for you. Yeah, you know, I, we literally. We paved the road for you. We, we ate. Sometimes we didn't have a decent place to stay, but we, we kept going anyway with the music. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we made it for you, you know, for you all, especially uh, the colleges and yeah. things, places like that where we, we played at. They had never heard of us before, but mm -hmm. they don't now, you know. Wow. So it, it, it worked out. Wow. I'm just glad I'm still, I'm one of the, you know, one of yeah. the ones that's still working when I when I can mm -hmm. in the music. Of course, I do other things as well, mm -hmm. but I'm still here because so many of them have crossed over, it's gone on wow. in. So I don't know. Wow! And officially now, I want to go ahead and talk about those names that Zaire mentioned. So it was um, Alton Williams. Uh, Alton Williams was. Let me go one by one. Okay. Alton Williams was the musician, the organist before me. Mm -hmm. He played with him for many years. I think he probably went back as far as the, close to the beginning. Mm. Uh, he went, but he, he, he left the group before. He left the group after we was in Vegas. Mm. That first time, the first time I went to Vegas, he left the group, I think, then, if not right after then, because he did play it. He played the full time at the, at the uh, New Frontier, mm. but he didn't play with us. No, because I did uh, the Caesar's Palace, so mm. he was out of the group by then. And he retired, stayed in L.A. and played for a church. Now, who's oh, the next one you had? Uh, what, Clara T, right? Clara Thomas. Clara mm -hmm. T. She was a great singer. I loved her. And she fit in good, good with the group, but due to, uh, because of her uh, religious affiliation, she decided to get out, you know, after a while. 
So, uh, w how many years would you say roughly that you that you worked with Clarity? Well, Clarity was only around like a year or two, a couple oh, of years wow. at the moment. But I think she's on one of the recordings. She is. She did a lead. Okay. Yeah, I think. If yeah, I do too. Cause right. I, what I meant is they had done that recording, right. that, that one. I don't know where I was at then. Wow. Okay. And and, also, uh, I'm trying to think. My my, my memory. And I had I have I have brought some names and I lost that sheet of paper. <laughs> I th if I remember correctly, you asked about Vi Vi Crowley. Yeah, yeah. Vi Crowley stayed with the Ward Singers until the end. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Did she? Well, she didn't. She didn't work with us after after Clara had passed. She didn't work too much with us because hmm. she was always, you know, always stayed in Clara's group. She didn't play too. She didn't go around that much. Hmm. And uh, you had somebody else, yeah, Geraldine. We, we, yeah. Well, we talked about Geraldine. Just mm -hmm. we must talk about Mildred Mays. Mildred, oh Lord, Mildred is she's exciting. She has a one and only voice. Mm -hmm. You can't miss her voice. Anytime you hear it, you would know it was her. And she was very, very dedicated to the group. Never any trouble. Always on time. You know, and and she sang. If you heard of her singing, you know, she she had a different voice. Mm -hmm. you, it's hard to miss her, but she was great. Wow. She said, hold the note, people people clap. Mm -hmm. she, wouldn't, she wouldn't let go of that, uh, that note mm -hmm. until she got a hand clap. Mm -hmm. um, this was light of mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she held that note and that was it. Now let me ask you this. Um, like, because I know you spent a lot of time with Clara and Gertrude. Now, did they ever, were there any moments that they ever reflect on the earlier days, like with people like uh, Kitty Parham and things like that? Did there any stories they ever share with you about them traveling with them you know and the joy that they had they did not talk and discuss that mm -hmm. they would say different things when incidents uh happened because they would say something marion was, we saw marion in such and such a place and that was it mm -hmm. you know or uh well miss waddy came with us oh, I wish I could miss waddy that. came with us when we were in disneyland that's oh. the only one out of that stars of faith you met henrietta waddy henrietta waddy <laughs> She was, was she we funny, gave her such a hard comical? time, me, me Madeline, and Bernard, we gave her such a hard time because she was in the room next to our room uh, in the hotel. And, you know, she was going to bed with me, Madeline, and Bernard. We was up drinking and doing whatever, you know, we felt, you know, felt like doing. Because mm -hmm. you grown. We were making a little noise. <laughs> yeah, we made, made a little noise, you know. So she had to deal with us. Oh, wow. But she was fun. She was a lot of fun. And the people loved it. They loved yeah. her. Those are on stage. Wow. She was good. She could, could nobody do getaway Jordan like her, mm. cause she jumped, do that back step, mm -hmm. and you know she was kind of up in age then even when she was with us. But she wasn't old. But she was she was sweet. Mm. But she wasn't like us, cause we were crazy. Well, you know what? I don't know how my mind slipped. Shir Shirley Walls, she's still with us. You had to have worked with her, cause she was with the group in the. In the uh, Shirley Walls was yeah. with the group before I came in. Oh, she was. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, cause she. Had but she and she didn't stay long. Right, cause she went that secular something, career. Something happened. I can't remember exactly what happened with that. She went secular. She did that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But you have you met her before? Did you? Ever yeah, met I met her. She's in a Philadelphia. wonderful woman. I met her, but I, before she, you know, like I said, when I first came in and she had, she was out. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you about Esther Ford. Did you ever meet oh, her? Oh, Lord, Esther. Oh, that was one singing woman. That's oh, my God. She was with yeah. a group a little while before I got in the group. But every time we ended up around Philadelphia somewhere, Esther would always be present. We'd go somewhere where she was singing. Mm -hmm. And it was awesome. I never heard nobody sing. That was the best soprano I've ever heard. Really? Oh, yeah, because she could, she could hit any note in her natural voice. Mm. And uh, I know I played, got a chance to play for really? a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we were we were good friends. Wow. She uh, she would come where we were at because she came to see us in uh, D.C. Mm -hmm. And we, she sang on our program. And that's when I fell in love with her for sure. Wow. Then we went over, Mid Mountain went over to her house. Where she fixed some food for us one day. It was nice back in the day. And Lavinia. Mm -hmm. Lavinia, I didn't know much about her, but she was an award singer back in the day. And she she sang with us in D.C. She sang "Packing Up," mm -hmm. and uh, who else? That's about it. Wow. Frances, I didn't know a lot about, but it, it, I know she was there. She, she was in the group, and he's talking about Frances Stebbins. Right. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is like all of these names just in to pay homage. You know, I'm gonna try to have their, their photos come up so that we can pray properly. Hey, okay. proper homage to them. Now, I want to ask you this. Now, we know about the war singers being in, you know, the, the clubs doing their thing. But on the gospel side of things, like in the churches and things, like that, so what are some of the groups that you 
you know, that the war singers were on program with while you were playing with them, gospel groups? Well, on program with that I was there, it was it was just, uh, I think we did one with the Blind Boys. What? With the Blind Boys. Alabama or, or Mississippi? You don't remember. Uh, Mississippi. <laughs> okay. And uh, who else? I can't think right now. I know we did. We didn't do many because they wouldn't have Miss Ward wouldn't have it. We she didn't want two uh, two star shows on oh. star groups on the same program, oh, wow. and plus the money. Yeah. <laughs> you ever worked with Joe May, brother Joe May? No, I didn't. I knew him, but I didn't you, work with you, him. You met him before? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I met him when he was came to L.A. I don't think. Well, we didn't even do anything with uh, Alex Bradford. We didn't do anything with him, but he was always around. Well, I say always, but he was around a lot. Mm -hmm. But as far as the groups, uh, we didn't. We were not on the program with too many of them. But we were places where we, they would, if they had a program, we we would go. Oh wow! Even if they didn't want us to go, we in Madeline, we'd always go. Now a little a little bit more into you. You are uh, all the footage that I've seen. You are on that organ, right? Yes. Okay. So what is it about the organ that just I don't know just. Well, the reason why I was on the organ is because nobody else would play it. Is it? Back then, everybody always played the piano. Because I'd like the right now, I like the piano better. Uh, really? Yeah, I do. I'd rather oh. play the piano. I'd rather play piano any day. I don't know. I like that organ. I, I like, like the it, sound. but I, I like it. But I'd like the, I like the piano better oh. as far as me playing. So, but, take, walk us through. So you get on the organ, you you run it, you start it. Now your presets. How did you develop those? Did you kind of well, I had test the learned, learned, I learned different presets from people in, in my church. Mm -hmm. You know, we had some people that, you know, played organ before me because I was in church, the sanctified church I was in, uh -oh. Church of God in Christ. They were <laughs> first in that city that had a ham and organ. Mm -hmm. So when I would immediately learn how to play that. So anywhere I went, if they had an organ of any kind, I would play it. Wow. And you know, it, it's a lot of thinking that goes on playing the organ because you got your, the, the top uh, keyboard, the bottom keyboard, and then you got the bass pedal. Yeah, that's the a bass, lot of that's thinking. it. You, I mean, it, you have to learn how to, that stuff has to be automatic yes. after a while. It has to be automatic because you can't think, now I'm going to do this, yes. now I'm going to do it, now I'm going to play the foot for yes. You get on the organ, I don't even think about the feet. <laughs> I don't think about the it's feet. Just, I, when I get on there, I go right to it. I just know yeah, what I'm going to yeah. do. And, that, and that's it. The yeah. rest of it is history. Yeah. And I, I know I'm going to use two hands, you know, one on top and one on bottom to play. And uh, what practice makes perfect. And the yeah. best place to learn how to play the instruments for gospel music is at Sanctified Church of God Come in Christ. On, My auntie, they still call it Sanctified <laughs> Church, but it's Kojic Church because they have that testimony service. Oh, yeah. It's going to last an hour, so they go, everybody going to come singing their song <laughs> in a different key. So that's the way you learn how to play in all the keys. Wow. They're going to have it, you know. I remember growing up here, you know, then walking up, chromatically walking up the stairs, mm -hmm. <laughs> up, the, up the scale, and you like, because they're trying to find the key. To, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they never found them, and they just actually put them in a key, you know. Right. Well, you can do that, too, <laughs> if you're fast enough. But see, I'm go I usually, I probably have a pretty good here. I can generally get a pretty good start, and I'm not going to wait too long. I'm going to hit a note. And then you're going to play. And I'm going to go. They're going to have to follow me because I'm going to play loud, <laughs> loud, and close to the key. I never have to go more than a half step. From what they're doing, oh, okay, okay. but uh, I'm gonna go close to the key, and if they get in one of the keys, I, which usually they do, but I can play and it's on. Then I'm gonna play, <laughs> do my best. Wow! And I still go through that even now. Wow! I think we learned a lot, and you know, I don't know. I mean, we could talk and talk and talk and talk yeah. and talk and talk. But I would like to give you this moment to just speak from your heart. I don't care what it is, just talk. Speak from your heart. Speak to the world. Speak to your family. Speak to whoever. Just encourage us and talk from your heart. I'm listening. I'm all ears. Okay. I thank you, first of all, because you're like, you like a, a child of mine or a grandchild. I'm old enough to be your grandfather, Daddy. But uh, I, I thank you for doing this because gospel music is a genre that should never be, never, never be uh, dropped from the, from the uh, music of appreciation. Like uh, uh, classical music. It's the same. It's, it's the same from the beginning of time. You know, country music is the same. You know, we have new songs, but it's basically the same. And uh, I want to, you know, the young people, don't be um, embarrassed. You know, some of the young people nowadays, they don't, they're scared to play, just yeah. bring out the gospel that they learn from grandma or whoever. 
because it's not in. Right. But you go in and you make it be in. You better That's preach. the way you do that. You go mm -hmm. in and you make it. Yeah. You know, be yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, because I used to people would ask me about you don't you don't want to sing because you better hurry up get yours out of the way. Sing your song first because so and so James Cleveland for example, James Cleveland gonna sing and so so you want to sing before him or whatever. And I tell him in a minute, James who? I said, uh, bring it on, let's go. Okay. Get, bring it on. You know, I've never been afraid to be, uh, behind another singer, another musician. Right. I believe in doing what the Lord gave me, right. you know, and that's it. And I did that. So I would say keep on because, you know, look where I'm at now. <coughs> I started playing music since I was five or six years old. I was, I was playing. I, I was taking music lessons because uh, my grandmother gave started of that and she said, you learn how to play that uh, piano, and you'll d uh, never be hungry. Mm. You know, that's what she said all the time. Learn that piano. I said, oh, yes, ma'am, no problem. But I want to play anyway. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been doing it off and on all my life. I played secular. I did a lot of stuff for Motown, background singing, being Gloria Jones. Um, we did a lot. We were in here together. But Gloria Jones is one of the Kojics, one of the main singers in the Kojics, mm -hmm. uh, Andre Crouch's group. And we were ended up in hair together, and so she took me, and we would do a lot of backgrounds uh, on uh, Diana Ross, Smokey, a lot of the backgrounds of voices on them. What do you say? What do you say? Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no mountain high enough. Background. We listening. <laughs> wait, you did background on this song? Yes. Wait, no, wait, some. wait, wait. On the recorded? I, Hold on, wait a minute, stop the phone. <laughs> hold on, hold and on. if I were your woman, you were my man. Wait, wait. Gloria wrote that. Wait, you're doing background. That's your yeah, voice the on the recording. No, it's just, ain't no mountain. Yeah. Mountain, ain't no, yeah, that one. That's you doing that. Yeah. Now, I don't know what they put on the record. No, it's on there. <laughs> well, that's, that's what we did back in the day. So you, you actually went into the Motown studio. No, we didn't do it at the Motown oh, studio. Okay. We did it. It was done uh, in a, another studio, a bigger studio, oh, but it was okay, okay. They, they considered it a motel. Wow. And uh, wow. if I were your woman and you were my man, Gloria Jones wrote that. But I, I, she, she they did that. I forgot who did that. Oh, that was Gladys Knight. Gladys Gladys Knight. And the song, Put a Little Love in Your Heart, mm -hmm. Jackie DeShannon. Mm -hmm. I did the background for her on that song. You can hear me real good on that. Put a little love in your heart, Jackie DeShannon. Oh, we got, look. For those that, okay, Jackie, how you spell her Jackie name? Jackie DeShannon. That's J-A-C-K-I-E. How you spell her last I name? I would spell D-E-S-H-A-N-N-O-N. -E -E That's what I would spell it. DeShannon. And what's the name of the song? Put a Little Love in Your Heart. Y'all, go listen to the song. Put, Put a little, little Love in Your Heart. I sang the low part. They had asked for three girls. And Gloria, you know, she always picked it because she knew I could reach in it. You know, I could sound close to a woman. And so when I got there, she said, oh, we couldn't get to what's going on. He does this all the time. You can hear him. He'll be all right. That's what Gloria said. It, oh, it, it was wow. on. I, you know, I'd sing the background. That was it. Mm. But we looked out for each other back in them days. We had a click going up. Every little thing that was going on, was, we would be there wow. to get jobs or whatever. And oh, I've done so many wow. background sessions. But that was a lot of good money because mm. we got paid union scales. Mm -hmm. you know, and that helped out a lot. I can't think of all the people now. Like I said, you, you must remember I've a little gone on to other things now. Wow. Well, you guys, so this is a program where I present, or I came up with this idea. It's called Gospel Diaries because I like to do this. I like to travel and really uh, look for gospel stars and gospel legends and unsung individuals to tell their story because I believe everyone's story is is important to this to the to the larger picture and a lot of times in life like we we don't really pay attention and we don't really realize or understand how important p the pieces to a puzzle are we yeah. always look at the big picture that's right but the pieces is what really develop the picture okay and so that's what i'm here i'm that's what i'm doing i'm here doing gospel diaries and uh I pray that you enjoy this. Uh, so the next episode, we'll be in Greenville, South Carolina, with Reverend Harold Bailey and Reverend Lottie Hall from the Harold Bailey Gospel Singers. 